So we came across Three Nights in Chicago, a mo local multiplayer game where it's about two teams robbing a bank. Uh, we had a few good shots so far, and we saw the gameplay, and it looked pretty interesting. Now, I talked to your partner who said this is an NYU thesis. This isn't like a game for like consumption yet for sale yet. This is something you've been working toward for your degree. Uh, can you want to tell me a little bit about that? Sure. So the project started off as a game where we wanted to sort of break some traditional local multiplayer trends. Um, the, so we started talking about how we wanted to do that. We wanted a game that lasts multiple rounds, that you sort of care about your characters a little bit. Uh, we wanted to make a game that's where you don't, uh, it's not like a one hit kill kind of game. Uh, we wanted to make something that's sort of different from the Tower Falls and Samurai Guns and Nidhogs and see how we can push like party games uh, a bit farther and make them a bit deeper and more interesting. Uh, so that's how it started out. And that's how uh, Three Nights in Chicago started to uh, get built, I guess, from there, from that idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how did it go from pushing the genre forward to robbing a bank? Where did you get that? That's not really what I think about when I think of party games. So, I, I'm seeing some of the concepts working out, but where did the bank thing coming from? So, that was a complete accident, uh, actually, that, that happened over halfway into the process. So, for, for about six months uh, after we came up with the idea, we had like, this very dark post-apocalyptic uh, theme going on about a land and the clouds and everybody is uh, sad and depressed and there's this natural disaster happening and then we were sort of feeling uh, demoralized a bit because we couldn't quite uh, figure out new mechanics and the theme uh, wasn't helping us create new mechanics they weren't being justified so our artist out of nowhere just decided to say you know what? I kind of want to change the theme I'm not feeling inspired and so we started throwing around random themes that don't make sense. You know, like, like oh, maybe there should be dinosaurs. You know, maybe there should be pirates. And then somebody said uh, film noir, and uh, we were like, huh, okay, like that's interesting. And in our ideas, we sort of had uh, the idea of resource gathering and, and retreating, uh, and we found that that fits very well with uh, the idea that you're robbers and you're you're retreating from the cops, and you're, the the resources you're gathering are, is the money. And so everything started to fall into place from there. And so we threw away everything we made before and restarted with this new theme. And, uh, and we found that people really liked it because they understand what we're trying to do. You tell them, oh, you're robbing a bank. They're like, oh, okay, so I guess I can hit people. I guess I can open safes. All of this, starts, this stuff starts to make sense. And that helped us a lot in building new stuff uh, and taking advantage of sort of player expectations uh, from this uh, theme. Uh, so yeah. That sounds interesting. I mean, it's kind of crazy and kind of scary too, because you're doing this midway project for your thesis. So this is kind of a time crunch, and midway through you come like, all right, yeah, scrap it all. Yeah. So that's that's ballsy and awesome. Now, um, <laughs> how many stages can we look forward to here? Uh, so at the moment, there are uh, six original stages, um, and we've gotten to a point where we're comfortable with the mechanics enough that we can start churning them out really quickly. Uh, our idea is that you're going to be playing multiple rounds, right? multiple heists. And so to make that uh, replayable enough to, for you to want to play the 10 round game multiple times in a row, we need a significant amount of, of levels, each with their own interesting tactical thing going on. Because uh, we, want, we want players to like, sort of memorize levels, but not enough that they're getting bored uh, from playing them. Uh, so we're looking at, hopefully, by the end of the summer, about uh, 20, 20, 25 different levels. I can totally imagine that because I'm thinking, well, well, robbing a bank. How, how many different kind of robbery movies do we see? Are there going to be some episode, um, issues where there's helicopters coming to play? Are you, are you going to have to go traverse through duck work? I, mean, what extra, I feel like there's so many movie challenges you can even base your, your, base your levels around. Like, oh, this is inspired by heat. This is inspired by Ocean's Eleven type things. <laughs> I mean, are how how hard is it to just keep a, a realistic set of levels and what you want to do down to like realistic force? Because I feel like you can go crazy here. Well, at so at one point originally we wanted to make this a like based on like 1930s uh, the 1930s era, uh, but we found that a little bit uh, limiting. So we wanted to also put security cameras, but they didn't have security cameras at the time. So then we were like, screw it, and we just. And we wanted to go, like, put the, the fun first. So, like, we don't mind not being particularly realistic, in a way. Um, and the way we think about 
new levels is more like what do we want the players to be doing? What is the interesting thing about this level that is different from all the other ones? Uh, so what we have right now with our current set of levels is one of them is pretty flat and so there's a lot of attacking going to ha that's going to happen. One of them is all about teamwork and pressing switches to help the other team, to, uh, to help your teammate get into uh, inaccessible areas. Another one is about pressing switches but that affect the other team, that don't affect yours. Uh, we're also exploring stuff such as uh, hopefully later on having like patrolling guards or bringing back uh, alarm systems, uh, guard dogs. We have all these ideas like holding around. What's important to us is what is the player doing in this level that's different from another level? So, I mean, as you're saying this, I'm having so many different ideas myself. Like, okay, what if they just move on from robbing banks and rob some other places, like some drug kingpin's hideout, and he has like guard dogs or like a shark pit. You start getting like evil villain, let's rob them. Okay, so after your thesis, how far do you want to push this? Like, I, I obviously you want to go for release, but do you see yourself already like imagining expansions or like um, paid, paid DLC? Where, where, where do you see this going after you get your A, hopefully? So, uh, we're hoping to launch the game uh, by the end of this year uh, with the multiplayer mode. So right now it's like two to four players. Uh, multiplayer mode, uh, like a co-op and a one-on-one -on -one mode. And we're hoping to do that like on Steam by, by the end of the year. Ideally, we'd be launching on platforms, on like consoles. Yeah. So, uh, so like that, that's what we, where we would push after that. And if that picks up, if people start to really enjoy it and the team is comfortable to keep working on it, because it's also like our first big game out of school. Uh, so we're also sort of not sure how far we want to go. Uh, but if we do figure that out, I, would I personally would love to see a single player mode, uh, sort of like a puzzle platformer where you're sort of uh, managing your different people and figuring out how to get all the money in a bank and get out as quickly as you can for like a puzzle mode uh, that's what I would that's what I would look see, to see and sort of what's something we're talking about in, as a team as well that's awesome well this is one of those games that I look at and I just see infinite potential and I'm excited for it it's what when you saw us taking the shots I'm like what is this and I'm, I'm seeing the crowd really into it that's just great and then as we're talking I'm just I really wish you luck because I really hope you do a lot with this Thank and if you. you don't that's great now your partner said we could find this at the NYU Game Center every Thursday correct um, do you have any website or social media presence at all we do we currently have so you can you can see sort of a development blog on three nights in Chicago.com um, so yeah so we're posting some uh, updates every once in a while on like what we're working on bug fixes trailers uh, over there we do not yet have a any social media platforms for the game but now that sort of a lot, a bulk of the game design is done, uh, we're, we're going to start pushing marketing uh, pretty far. This is actually our first public showing outside of the game center. And so we're hoping to have a lot more of that and to start getting people more, I'm sorry, I just, I just hit your camera, <laughs> uh, to get more people engaged with the game outside of school. That would be great. Next step. Well, you have me already interested so I'll be glad to follow your uh, things so I'll be sure to stop by NYU Game Center to see the progress and follow you on social media and whatnot. Uh, the best place to see the game next would be at the NYU Game Center end of year student show which is happening on May 21st on May sorry May May 19th okay, yeah. May 19th sorry and <laughs> yeah sorry about that so yeah May 19th uh, we're going to be showing the game like on a big projector with banners and everything and maybe hand out some money bags and stuff uh, as per the theme. And so, uh, so yeah, that would be a great place to play the game when it's in a more complete state. Thank you very much. This looks awesome and I wish you and your team all the luck in the world. Thank you very much. See ya.